fantastic. So today, I am gonna be taste testing Burger Fi's menu. I have legit never had Burger Fi in my life. I've always wanted to though, because the name just sounds like really futuristic, like Burger Fi, like Wi-Fi, signals, the future. It just sounds like it's gonna turn me into a robot when I eat it, and I'm ready for the future, y'all. I'm ready to be half cyborg bitch. Now, this bag might look small compared to my usual giant bags of food, but y'all, when I say it's heavy, it's heavy. The items that I got are the breakfast all day burger, onion rings, fried chicken sandwich, veggie burger, well veggie five burger, <laughs> the future vegetable, a burger five burger, which is like their main burger, the CEO burger. Y'all, when I tell you guys what's in this burger, you're gonna be shocked. It's fancy and classy, so it really fits my brand. Hand cut fries, New York style Vienna beef hot dog, street stack burger, Texas style Vienna beef hot dog, and that's it. Oh wait, so I think it's 10 items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna read the description of every burger um, as I eat them because they're like complex, y'all. They're all very different from each other. They're all their own thing. So um, I'm excited to taste everything. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm about to open up this beautiful bag and do a little unboxing moment. But before I do that, y'all, in case you didn't hear, I have a brand new second channel called I'm not a movie critic, <laughs> where I review movies and react to trailers. It's so much fun. I'm loving it so much so far. So if you could go check it out and subscribe, the link is down there. I just reviewed Dark Phoenix, and y'all, I had a lot to say. So <laughs> the link to that video will be at the top of the description. Please go check it out and um, give it a thumbs up if you want. It's like kind of like just starting, so I'm trying to get it off the ground, and I'm, it's, it's just it's a magical experience. I feel brand new. I feel refreshed. And subscribe if you you're into that kind of content. If you're not, you don't have to subscribe, don't worry. But if you are, you're welcome to subscribe, yes! Okay, so this bag has some kind of like construction tape on it. I'm loving the industrial feel. Chipotle was found building an actual roof. Oh wow, okay, wow, boxes everywhere. Oh my god, here are the fries. Oh my god, I love the packaging. So cute, and they gave me a lot of fries too. They were like $5 though, so <laughs> they better give me a lot. Whoa, these onion rings look crazy. Oh my god. They're huge! I've never seen onion rings this big. They must be from the future. I think this is one of the hot dogs. This is the, I think, New York style or something like that. It has like, is that sauerkraut? I'm scared of it. I don't know. It looks very interesting. I've never really had this kind of like city hot dog. When it comes to hot dogs, I'm usually just like a basic ketchup and mustard hoe. Um, but sometimes I do like chili and this one has chili and cheese. Oh my God, is that cheese or mustard? I think it's cheese. It smells kind of weird. <laughs> Made me gag a little bit, but. <laughs> okay, so the burgers come in these cute little boxes. I'm snatched. So this is the street something burger. I'm gonna tell y'all all the exact details afterwards, but instead of a bun, it has arepas. In case if you're a white ass hoe um, and you don't know what arepas are, they're basically, well, I think Colombian, Brazilian. I'm not sure, don't get mad at me. It's one of the Latin countries. Don't worry, I'm not being offensive. I'm half Cuban. One of the countries makes arepas. So this is a burger with an arepa bun, that's iconic. And then we have, oh, this is the fried chicken sandwich, I think. Oh my God, <gasps> we love a pickle on our fried chicken sandwich, y'all. Those pickles are fat, so I am ready for that. They really have their branding on point. By the way, not sponsored at all. I'm just, I'm just mesmerized by this branding. It's really nice. Which burger is this? I think this is just their original Burger Fi burger. It looks like a basic burger. So that's good. I wanted to try like the main burger, you know, so I can really get the essence of Burger Fi. I think this is the CEO. I'm not sure, but it looks fancy. It smells interesting. Um, I think it has some kind of like truffle mayonnaise on it. Truffles are expensive, y'all. They're like mushrooms classy sister that no one really loves, but they still eat it because it's classy. Now, I think this is the veggie burger. It looks really good. The bun looks really healthy in a bad way. It looks like like dry. Last burger must be the breakfast one, I guess. Y'all, the breakfast one, I think has maple syrup on it. Oh my God, this is the breakfast one, I think. <gasps> yes, no, wait, what is that? Oh, yeah, there's an egg there too. I think there's a whole hash brown patty on this, y'all. <gasps> this looks so good. Okay, sorry about my phone. Y'all always say, wow, Timmy gets so many notifications on his phone. He must be so popular and have so many friends. First of all, I have like two friends, <laughs> literally. 
Second of all, most of these notifications are probably from my parents in our family group text. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set all the food up, I'm gonna get my thumbnail, and then we will start taste testing everything. Okay guys, so let me just quickly say, BurgerFi is not cheap. I spent a hundred dollars. I think we should first try the BurgerFi burger. This is like their simple signature burger. It's double natural Angus burger. Always sounds like anus to me. Lettuce, tomato, and BurgerFi sauce. So it's pretty simple besides the BurgerFi sauce. I wonder if it tastes like a Big Mac sauce. That's just what I'm envisioning right now. This burger was $8.59 and it did not come with fries. I feel like for that price, it should come with fries. Fries are a very cheap thing to make. It's potatoes, like the cheapest <laughs> vegetable out there. So I'm just saying, for that price, make it a full meal. The veggies look real fresh. Um, the meat patties look really good and authentic. They're like, not like a perfect round shape. They're like kind of like smushed, <laughs> like, like a smushed hunk of cow. You know, it's like they just kind of like authentically threw it on the grill. I see the sauce underneath. It's like an orangey color. That's fun. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. That is so good. The beef feels like really good quality. It doesn't have that fatty greasiness that some sit-down restaurant burgers have. It has more of a, I would say a Wendy's texture, but with a better flavor than Wendy's patties. Wendy's patties are not my favorite. This has good flavor, but with Wendy's non-greasy beef texture. It tastes fresh, doesn't taste frozen. Um, the toppings taste real good. The sauce, I couldn't really taste it to be honest. It just tasted like mayonnaise to me. Um, but it's a it's a good burger. It doesn't feel too heavy and gross. I like it. Very nice. Oh, by the way, at the end of this video, I'm gonna rank every item from one to ten, best to worst. So stay tuned for that. Next up, let's do one of the non-burger things. Let's do the fries, the simple fries. Usually, when fries look like this, I find that they don't taste as. Oh my god, I almost dropped them. I find that they don't. <laughs> they don't taste as good as lighter fries um when they're this dark i feel like they have more grease in them maybe that's just the meat or they're just like overcooked but i'm not going to judge a book by its cover they might be amazing who knows so the hand cut fries are five dollars and 14 cents listen there's a lot of fries in here but girl five dollars and 14 cents it should be 3.99 for this amount and that's just my opinion burger pie i'm not i'm not coming at you don't worry and i'm not going to dip these into ketchup because like i always say i can't hear you y'all don't know shit <laughs> I always say a good fry doesn't need ketchup. It doesn't. Look at McDonald's, probably my favorite fries. They don't need ketchup. I could just eat them by the handful. So let's try this fry. Wow. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what? I am so pleasantly surprised. Wow. Okay. From the look of it, I expected flavorless, oil-filled fries, right? They were oil-filled. They're very oily, but they're so flavorful. I'm shocked. They're so salty, but not too salty. They have so much flavor of just like delicious cooked potato. I truly do not expect this. Flavor from H to T. Fry head to fry toe. I think they're smizing, y'all. Next up, let's do another burger. Let's do, let's do the breakfast burger. I'm gonna save the CEO for last because this one is fine. Okay, so this burger is called Breakfast All Day Burger. It's natural Angus beef, American cheese, bacon, maple syrup, fried egg, hash brown, grilled onions, and ketchup. Uh -huh! We stand. <laughs> And I, ooh, and I, ooh. So that big patty thing is a hash brown in there. Wow, okay, let's just open it up for a second. Okay, so we have a whole lot of bacon. And it's not just bacon, it's like some thick cut, nice bacon. How many pieces are there? One, two, three, four, five pieces of bacon, that's good. I see the fried egg, it looks perfectly cooked. The hash brown looks amazing, and the onions, oh my god. <gasps> oh yes, the price. 
It's $10.08. Not that it's justified, but there is a lot of bacon on here. It should still come with fries though, but I'm impressed by the amount of bacon. That's a whole lot of bacon. And it looks like that good quality bacon too. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. What? Dare I say it. Other than like McDonald's and Burger King, this could be one of the best burgers I've had in my entire life. I'm not just saying that, I truly mean it. A lot of times burgers are bland. This is not, this is the most flavorful burger I've had ever, ever. The bacon is that nice ass, fancy ass caviar eating pig. It's so crispy, cooked to perfection. The egg is perfect. The hash brown, oh, it adds so much. Now the maple syrup, I did not think I would like that on my burger, but it works so well, it adds such a light refreshingness to the burger. I've never had a burger this good. Like, okay, I've had like, not to name call bitches, but I've had Denny's breakfast burger and some other breakfast burgers out there and no offense to them, but that does not compare to this. This is a whole other level of burger. This is a burger from the future, y'all. It's a burger pie. That's so worth $10. It's worth 20. I'm not even joking. I will pay 20 for that. So anyways, let's try the hot dog. Why is it not called a hot cat? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, so this is called the New York style Vienna beef hot dog. It has mustard and sauerkraut. Now, sauerkraut, if you don't know what it is, I am I think, I'm not sure, it's just a guess. I think it's pickled cabbage, but I could be completely wrong. If that's not correct, please tell me below what it is because I really don't know. And this hot dog is $5.14. A little overpriced for a hot dog. Usually they're very cheap, but at least it's like half the price of a burger there, right? So the hot dog looks really grilled. It has like charm marks on it, which is real nice. Smells like <laughs> a sour fart, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, let's taste it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm soft. I feel like it's an above average hot dog. It's not like a basic hot dog, it's good. Great flavor. The way they grilled the hot dog really does bring the flavor of the actual hot dog out a lot. The sauerkraut was not strong, it just added a hint of sourness, which I did not mind. Um, and the mustard tasted great. It's a good hot dog, I'm not snatched, but it's good. It's good, it's fun. I do think it should be like $3.99 though, not five something. Just saying, make it affordable for the people out there. Okay, now it's time to do another burger. Let's do the veggie burger. So y'all know veggie burgers are not my favorite. The texture sometimes grosses me out depending on the patty, but I'm gonna try to open my mind and taste it. Um, so this is the veggie fried burger. It's made out of crispy quinoa, <laughs> lettuce, tomato, burger fry sauce on a multi-grain bun. So first of all, there was another option. There's the Beyond Burger, I think, but I did not get it because I really want to try Burger King's Impossible Burger and I feel like it'll be too similar. <laughs> I have never tried any of the Impossible or um, Beyond Burgers, so I kind of want the Burger King um, Impossible Burger to be my first impression of it. I don't know why. So instead, I just got the plain veggie one. Um, the veggie burger was $9.16. The patty looks nice and thick. Um, kind of hard. <laughs> Let's taste it. Wow, I've never had a veggie patty that tastes like this one. What usually grosses me out about veggie patties is the fact that they try to be meat and they try to get the meaty texture and it's just like disgusting. This ain't trying to be meat. This is trying to be a crunchy quinoa patty. It's great, it has a crunch to it. Um, it tastes kind of like a fried hash brown or something. It doesn't taste like fake meat. I really like that. There's like an aftertaste of carrots but I don't mind. That's one of the best veggie patties I've ever had because it's not disgusting. If you're a vegetarian, I really think you would love this. That's a 10 out of 10 for a veggie burger, snatched. Okay y'all, we have five items left. CEO burger, arepa burger, onion rings, fried chicken sandwich, and chili cheese dog. 
Let's go. So now let's try the fried chicken sandwich. By the way, y'all, just a quick little reminder again. Check out my movie channel. <laughs> so the fried chicken sandwich is all natural, free range, boneless, hand breaded breast of chicken. Whoa, <laughs> that chicken must be the queen of chicken titty. She has a huge title. From Springer Mountain Farms. Wow, so I know where this <laughs> chicken titty comes from and which farm it comes from. With organic honey mustard barbecue sauce, pickle chips, lettuce, and tomato. It's eight dollars and eighty days slam. So it's honey mustard barbecue sauce. That is quite the mixture. There it is. The actual chicken looks incredible. So let's see. Damn. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> okay. So fried chicken sandwiches are not my favorite item at restaurants. I've just always found that bread and fried chicken have a hard time going together. I think because the chicken has breading on it, <laughs> do you get me? But for a chicken sandwich, this is a really good one. The chicken is so crispy, so white, so delicious. Look at that chicken, y'all. The pickles are thick and they taste really fresh. Um, All the toppings go well with it. And the sauce is a little sweet for my taste, but it's still really, really good. So now it's time for the Areva Burger. Now it is not called that, it has a name, let me see. So this is called the Street Staff Burger. Grilled corn cakes, in parentheses, arepas, all natural black Angus powder, melted white cheddar and mozzarella cheeses. Ooh, y'all, two cheeses. Smoky bacon and jalapeno pico de gallo. Oh my God. Okay, now let me clarify, arepas are not my favorite things in the world. I don't know why, I've just never been a big fan. I always feel like they're kind of flavorless. Anyways, let's taste it. So much bacon. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. I expected to not love it because of how greasy it looked, but oh my god, I think it's almost as good as the breakfast burger. The burger pie just has the best restaurant bacon I've ever had in my life. Their bacon is on point, it's insane. The arepas taste like cornbread, legit. They're sweet, great texture, so it's like a cornbread sandwich. Oh my god, something about the sweetness of the arepas with the bacon works so well, and then the patty and the cheese, I did not expect this, and I am snatched. It's gonna be hard to rank everything, because so far, every single thing has been good. But we still have three items, y'all, so let's taste them! Next up, let's do the chili cheese dog. So it is called the Texas-style Vienna beef dog. It's chili, cheese, and hot sauce. Ooh! It's $5.71. It looks real messy, which is a good sign for a chili cheese dog. Oh, I smell the hot sauce. It smells like um, Tabasco sauce. I'm nervous. Let's taste it. This is a crunchy hot dog. Oh, mmm, mmm. That makes the grossest chewing sound ever. <sighs> oh my god, it's hot. Yo, look, it's Carol, my queen. Ugh. Ah. My mouth is still burning. Bad. Oh, holy damn. First of all, the hot dog is so grilled that it's like crunchy. It's like, when you bite into it, it's like. I know I keep saying this this whole video, but this is one of the best chili cheese dogs I've ever had in my life. The chili's really good. They did not put too much. But what makes the chili so good is the layer of hot sauce on top. It makes it real spicy, but it adds a tartness and a refreshingness that elevates the chili to another level and gives the whole thing more flavor. Okay, I'm trying to talk through this, y'all, but. This side of my mouth is like the devil's anus. So good, it definitely beats the other hot dog. It's way better, it's just really spicy. So if you don't like spicy food, don't get this. My mouth is on fire. Okay, I need to eat something else to kind of like mask it, you get me? So let's move on. Next up, let's do the onion rings. They're $6.17 and that sounds pricey, it is, because onion rings are cheap to make, but I will say it comes with a lot. Usually when you order um, onion rings at different places, they give you like three damn onion rings. I'm like, bitch, I spent the whole damn onion. And each of the rings are insanely huge. Like that's, that's a bracelet. Can I put it on? That's a bracelet. Uh, uh. And even though they are lukewarm, they've stayed crispy. ASMR. Let's taste that. Mmm. Hmm. In all honesty, they're a little flavorless, in my opinion. They need salt and they need sweetness. Like the batter 
really does not have much flavor. I love it when like onion ring batters have a sweetness to them that almost tastes like bear food, you know? This just tastes like really simple. And I mean, with like salt and ketchup, they could be good, but I think the appearance is better than the flavor, which is kind of sad because everything has slayed me so hard and this broke the streak. <laughs> so yeah, I think I would stick to the fries, shockingly, because they look incredible, but it ain't cutting it, bitch. Last item, y'all, we have the CEO Burger. Oh my God. Now this one is different, okay? So this meat is Double Wagyu, I'm probably saying that wrong, and brisket blend together in, into a burger patty. I didn't know what Double Wagyu was, so I looked it up. I think it's a Japanese cow. I'm not sure, this is what Google told me. I think it's a Japanese cow, and I think it's like a really like luxurious beef, like apparently has like a different texture and everything, I don't know. So I'm really nervous to try this, because I've only had like some ground junk. <laughs> now it also has homemade candied bacon tomato jam, truffle aioli, and aged Swiss. So this is the burger for the classy ass people. This is for people that golf. This is for people that have more than three bathrooms. And it has it has truffle aioli. Truffles, like I said before, are the fancy mushrooms that are real expensive. And I hate mushrooms. Y'all know this. So I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. I'm just curious to see what rich people food tastes like, y'all. It smells like a really meaty burger, like meat. Like Arby's, we got the meat. Mom, 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 mom. Bon appetit. <laughs> I'm scared. Just like a burger. <laughs> I'm gonna break it up. Oh, there's all the jam. Okay, let's taste the middle. <laughs> okay, tastes like a burger with Prego sauce on it. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's probably like one of my least favorite burgers that I tried today. It doesn't taste like anything special. Maybe I'm so basic that I cannot taste those elevated flavors. <laughs> I'm just not allowed to, so my taste buds are like, turn that off. Turn it off, he's not classy enough. It's fine, but I don't see the difference between a Japanese cow and an American cow. Well, I'm an American cow. <laughs> so anyways, let me do my little ranking right now real quick. I'm gonna choose worst to best. You can sniff my ass and munch on my dirty crack. I'll be with you never, cause my fart is Okay, so this is my ranking from worst to best. So in the last spot, we have the onion rings, not so great. And then we have the CEO burger, not bad, but I expected more. Then we have the sauerkraut hot dog, eh, okay. Now y'all, honestly, all the rest of the items were amazing, okay? So we have the veggie burger, I just had to put it in seventh because I wouldn't usually order it. And then the fried chicken sandwich, and then the basic burger, and then the really spicy chili cheese dog, and then the fries. Now the final two, the arepa sandwich, oh my God. And number one, in my opinion, is that breakfast burger. Oh my God, truly I think the best burger I've had ever. So this was a very successful taste test. I loved almost everything and I'm truly snatched by BurgerFi. Not sponsored, but bitch, I'm going back. Okay, after I finish all this. Y'all, once again, don't forget to check out my brand new channel. I'm not a movie critic. Link at the top of the description. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.